What if I told you that a physics problem I solved recently could possibly save 33 million people each year from terminal disease? So I study fluid behavior, and a recent project of mine was to improve the performance of spray nozzles. Now, these spray nozzles are used anywhere between, say, inkjet printing or spraying paint or even washing your car. So as many nozzles go, whenever you spray anything, fluid is ejected from these nozzles in the form of threads that we call filaments. And my group has shown previously that if these filaments are long enough and if they have a low viscosity like that of water, they'll break into smaller drops, like the dots you can see on the screen. But these dots, or the small drops, are, the, are a major headache in many spray processes in that they're so small that they drift with the air and land on unintended surfaces. They can make for a bad print job or a bad paint job. But they have a much larger consequence than just printing or you know, paint spraying. Did you know that there are 1,300 businesses in the US across 44 states that spray deadly toxic pesticide from the air? And that and that's a spray process which makes these small drops too. Only that this time, these small drops form a mist which goes with the wind and lands on your skin, in your food, in your water, and in the air you breathe. This can cause anything from a mild skin rash to a neurological condition to birth defects. Pesticide poisoning affects 33 million people each year around the globe. So how do we solve this? As a computational fluid physicist, what we do is basically we take equations. And before considering equations, we take to the physical problem. We know that surfactants, those found in your soaps and detergents, have a property of stabilizing liquid surfaces in that you can blow a soap bubble, but you can't blow a water bubble. And I took the basic equations for a liquid and a surfactant, and I made a model of how a filament would behave with surfactant on it, and what I found was startling. It so happens that if you add enough of the right surfactant into your liquid, you can completely stop the formation of these small drops. And it's so cool that if you give me what kind of pesticide you're using, my code can exactly predict how much and what kind of surfactant you need to use. So going back to our original question, how, how do you save 33 million people each year from terminal disease? Simple, just make sure your pesticide company is adding the required amount of surfactant into their formula, and you're all set. Or you could just ask a physicist. Thank you.